All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I'm filthy. I've been working on the skid steer again all day today. But what we're going to do today, we're going to be kind of quick and to the point. I've got this light tower. It's a Generac, I believe. Yeah, Generac Magnum. It's an old rental uh, that my cousin, he does concrete work, so they need this thing when they do early morning pours. But he brought it over here with... A complaint of no power now the engine runs fine it, it, it starts right up instantly no funny noises it's in really good shape but absolutely no power whatsoever so I'm going to show you what it's doing you got to have all these breakers off to start it So, when you run into this problem, this is what happens a lot of the times. There's a capacitor in here on this gen set. I've already had the lid off. And uh, you gotta be careful with these two. You should really, really um, jump across them and, because they store power, store electricity. And they can zap you if you was to touch them both. But this one's dead, so. But what I noticed is there was oil leaking and it was inside of this. It's all in the bottom and there's even a spot there. It's not really a burnt spot because there's a mark they put on them. But I did notice it's kind of bubbled up a little bit. So this thing's definitely damaged. And oh, that thing is stuck to the lid really good. I don't know why it always amazes me how well this little magnet on this camera works so basically what you do what I did is get on eBay and find the size 25 for rods and 440 volt AC 50 to 60 Hertz now I found several of these that had all that the same but this part number was a little bit different and I lucked out and found this exact one, that brand with that part number and all the same specs. And I want to say it was like $15. It came in the same box as this Gentech. It's a GE capacitor, but it's got the same exact part number, 97F9632, 97F9632. So we're gonna put this on there. You see the mark I'm talking about, the little painted spot. I guess that's where they test them from the factory. But we're gonna hook it up, and I could be wrong, but I don't think it matters whether it's, you know, which one is on which. You just don't wanna put them both on the same pole. So let's, uh, let's hook this up, and then we'll fire it up and make sure the generator works. And if it does, I've got to put these clamps back on it, keep it from vibrating, and put the bolts back in it, and uh, cover on it, and then should be ready to go back to the customer. I told y'all this is going to be a quick video. So there you go. If you're having trouble with your light tower, that's what you need to do. Well, that's a good place to check anyways for no power. There's other issues that can go wrong, obviously, but that's one of the things that these are known for going bad. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. So if you have a generic light tower and the engine runs but it's not putting out electricity, 
check that capacitor. And if it's bad, get on eBay and buy one or go to your local uh, electrical supplier. They're pretty cheap. Like I said, I got that one for 15 bucks on eBay. They had some for 11. And they're probably gonna be about the same, maybe a little higher at an actual uh, electric supplier. Ooh, it's dark in here. But either way, it's well worth it to get this thing back up and running again. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and check out my channel for other stuff. And hopefully you can learn something on some of the other videos. Later.